Jimmy. Man, oh man, that is a fantastic mustache. You, you might have to rename the show, like the Tonight Show, with that fantastic mustache. mustache. Yeah. You want to touch it? Yeah, could I touch it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been wanting to do that for a long time. Yeah, a long time. time. How, uh, wow, that's a great one. That's a great, how long does it take you to uh, grow that mustache? A couple years. Yeah? Yeah, I yeah. don't think I've ever, I've seen you in movies with mustaches, though, haven't you? Yeah, but it's always, uh, so far, it's been fake. But uh, if you watch The Little Drummer Girl, I'm shooting right now, it'll be my first uh, thing with a real mustache. So I'm expecting a big difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a fake mustache compared to that. Yeah, it'll just seem like a more honest performance, probably. <laughs> Is it tough acting with a mustache on? Well, fake mustaches uh, uh, drive me crazy um, because, you know, they got a gloom on your face, and I'm kind of a, a sweaty guy, I'm, as I'm sure you know. And uh, <laughs> after all this time we've spent oh, sure. in close proximity, yeah, 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 yeah. you're like, probably looking at him, you're like, he's sweating so much. Uh, but anyway, so it makes the, it weakens the glue, and then you're always worried it's going to be falling off, and you, you don't want to eat when it's on. And, and then you, you get obsessed, like, looking in the mirror and thinking, oh, that looks really stupid. It looks fake. It's, it's, it's crooked. It's not it's filled in right. Yeah. And the great thing about a real mustache is it, it in, in, in reality, looks just as stupid, but it's your actual mustache. <laughs> so you can't really criticize it. You're like, well, it's not the makeup person's fault. No, it's, it's, it's just... It's God's fault. <laughs> uh... Last time you were here, uh, we talked about uh, The Shape of Water. That was the movie that you were in. Yeah. And it went on to win... Uh, best picture. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it did. That was. That's amazing. Congratulations. That's very, fun. It was very. I was very proud. Yeah, very I, but proud. here's why I think you're. I, I just, you know, I like you. But you, uh, you, you get invited to the Oscars, obviously, and then uh, you, you couldn't make it. Uh, well, I. Uh, okay. <laughs> what? Well, first of all, okay, I've been to the Oscars twice, and I always feel a bit like an interloper. I mean, it's, it's hard to feel like you actually deserve to be at that. You know, when you're in the same room, with, there's like Meryl Streep there. You're like, I, don't, I just don't belong here. But the point is, is that I had directed a play in Chicago. It was closing the same day as the Oscars. And I wanted to go back and see my show one last time and thank my cast for all their hard work. And we had a little reception afterwards, and everybody made speeches. And it was very moving. And then I went to the Old Town Ale House and got uh, completely poleaxed. Yeah. <laughs> And that is where I had my picture taken. Yeah, someone took a picture. Uh, this is you watching the Oscars at this bar in Chicago. <laughs> by the way, by the way. That is fantastic. That is unbelievable. By the way, I should add, the person who took that photo was, was the proprietor of the Old Town Ale House. Ah, he very, very proudly uh, wow. uh, that, put it, it up. A, it's a good pub? It's, it's my favorite bar it ever. Is. Then here's what happens is the great Michael Shannon, the double uh, nominated actor, Oscar nominated actor, gets invited to the Golden Globe Awards. And you didn't, you didn't make it. You couldn't make it. <laughs> couldn't make it that night. I had night. something I had to get off my chest. You really did? Yeah. But what was it and who, because I, I, well, this is a picture of you that night. Yes. Uh, night What's going night. on and what? <laughs> I'm praying to the, yeah. to the rock gods. No, I'm, I'm doing a very feeble uh, impersonation of Iggy Pop there. I think um, this song uh, was, uh, <laughs> man, I'm hot. Uh, it's, uh, I think this was uh, Down on the Street. <laughs> down on the Street. Yeah, yeah. yeah the, down, are you bleeding in that photo? Yeah, I'm bleeding. Do you Either know that or it's my cologne. No, I have, very th I have very thin skin, as I'm sure you can tell. I'm, uh, I, if I touch this desk too hard, I just start bleeding. You thought, you thought I, I should probably you had thin skin? Now, here's the real question. Is, is this a thong? Is that a thong strap hanging out of my pants there? I can't remember. <laughs> what kind of underwear do you wear? I don't know. Um, I, don't, I don't dress you don't, myself. You don't dress? You no. have someone else dress you? Yes, while every, I'm in a coma. Every yes. day, and when you're they, sleeping, you wake up fully dressed? Yes. And you don't have no recollection of very, how you got dressed. It's a very mysterious life I live, Jimmy. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I it's, mean, before this segment, I was just standing in the dressing room in my underwear, and the next thing I know, I'm here fully in a suit. Well, yeah. That's a fantastic thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. On and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.